when you look at society today, it is in a real mess. People's lives are absolutely uh, just messed up. They're insecure. They have doubt, worry, fear, uh, loneliness, angry. Uh, they worry about what they're going to eat, what they're going to wear, who their friends are. And so they really, and these are people who are Christian people, people who say that they believe in God. Well, I want you to know that there's no way that you could believe in God. No way and have those issues. No way at all. You cannot believe in God, be born again of him, and uh, be insecure, have doubt, fear, worry. Uh, someone else can cause you to become angry. Uh, you know, it just, you can't because that's not the nature of God. So if you are really born again, entering into the kingdom of heaven, you're going to live a different lifestyle. It's a different way of living. You know, and I was thinking about this this week because I knew I wanted to talk about it. But before I give you what I see salvation to be, I want to ask some of the holy people in the meeting, how many people here are already born again of God? You're, you're Christians. Oh, good. Everybody. Oh, except this sinner. You guys are not, right? So there's not one born-again person in this session. Well, that's good. We're going to get people saved today. Um, let me see here again. Oh, okay. What is salvation? Believing that Jesus Christ rose from the dead, defeated death, uh, trusting in him. Believing that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And what else? Uh, trusting in him. Trusting in him. Did you trust in him? Yes. And how do you know that you trust in him? Well, first of all, I believe historically that he did rise from the dead. The evidence is there. Right. And that's the only person that's ever defeated death. Oh, okay. Um, so believing then, that is what can, what caused you to be born again or saved? Yes. Oh, okay. And then all the prophecies from the Old Testament, they were all fulfilled in Jesus Christ. And then uh, after Jesus, then Paul brought the word to everyone else on you know, a good Christian way of living. What changed about you once you were born again? Uh, the outlook on life. How do you now see it? Uh, well, if I had a heart attack right now, there's, like you said, there's no worry. I know exactly where I'm going. Where are you going? You're going to heaven to be with God. Oh, okay. So the fear, any kind of fear of, oh no, am I going, am I in doubt of going to hell or Am I just going to disappear and not exist? No fear at all. Oh, okay. How about you? You said yes, you're born again? You're Absolutely. Christian. And how do you know that you are? I'm completely changed from what I used to be. Well, what were you before? I was a gangster, womanizer. A gangster? Drinker. I was everything. You don't look like a gangster. <laughs> oh, I was. I'm clean, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Define gangster for me. I was a criminal. And what were you doing? Uh, Everything from money laundering to stealing cars, really? drugs. How old, how old are you now? I'm 36. Oh, okay. You look young. Just like me. <laughs> See that? Just like me. But uh, so you were all those things. And then yes. what happened? And then uh, I discovered the Lord. I discovered Jesus and uh, he changed me. And, and now you don't, I don't do steal, any rob, things. and kill. I don't smoke. Them. I don't drink. You don't smoke. Are you married? Yes, sir. You're married. You have children as well? I do. Are you the head of your wife? I am, sir. The head of your wife? Yes, sir. Is she here today? No, she's the, my father-in-law is her pastor of her church, so. Oh, okay. All right. She's uh, doing her service. She's and so sister. how did you, so you heard about God. Yes, sir. And then you believed about him, and you were born again. Absolutely. Is that right? You, did you raise your hand? Yes, I did. And, and are you born again? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Look like you have some doubt. Well, I don't want you to get to quizzing me because, I, you know, I'm one of those Christians, <laughs> let me just say. Hey, I have no shame. I'm one of those Christians that forgot all those things they said, but I totally am believing that. You forgot all... But if you ask me, I would be like, um, why, why? Yeah. I'm more practical with mine. If I'm having a stress, stressful time, then that's when I remember, oh, like, oh, yeah, Jesus, I don't have to worry. Oh, okay. Because I can just put my trust in him, and I can go on about my day. So but I forget. You I, forget. I worry. So 
sometimes. You will worry. Yeah. So once you're born again, it is possible under stress to forget about him. Yeah, you can forget because you get caught up in worldly right. doings. You agree with that? You guys agree with that? Sure. You're not answering. Well, it's, oh yeah, I mean, it's a stressful world out there. And, and you get caught up with that stress? Try not. <laughs> but it happens. Yeah, I mean, you watch the news, you watch, a, you watch the nightly news, and if you just sit there and focus on just the injustice going on. Right. But then, like she said, once you have the realization, hey, I'm born again, I'm on God's side, then. Okay. I win. That brings everything back into focus. Okay. Snap of a finger. All right. 